Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is my very first video and if you know me, hello, welcome. We're acquainted to each other. If you don't know me, my name is Cole. I am a TikToker. I'm an astrologer. I'm an idiot. All of those great things. I've been getting a lot of requests on TikTok for two specific things. One, for me to start my own YouTube channel. So here I am. I'm doing it finally. Two is to finally answer the age old question of what is my favorite zodiac sign. And I thought what better way to do that than to make a YouTube video about it. But for today's video, I am going to be ranking all of the potential sun and rising sign placements. I chose the sun and the rising because sun is what people most notably know when they think of like their zodiac sign. And I chose the rising sign because the rising sign is like the most true identity of a person. It's in your first house, baby. It's like what people think of you the most when they think of your personality. So I figured it would just be really nice to rank those two things so people don't feel so totally attacked by me. And with that being said, if you want me to rank all of, you know, the potential planets and the zodiac placements for them, let me know in the comments below. And while you're doing that, you might as well hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Like, it's literally free to do that. It doesn't cost you anything. So, you know, what's the point in waiting? And without further ado, let's get into this tier list. So for my top tier, I had the baddest baddies ever. Seems very self-explanatory. For right underneath that, I had, I would invite them to my household. I would. I would invite them to my house. Underneath that, like the middle tier is just they I, you know, nothing too bad, nothing too good about them. I'm just kind of indifferent about it. In the second bottom tier, I have Nina West, meh. And for my lowest tier, I have It's a No From Me Dog, referencing Randy Jackson from American Idol. So, and as you can see as well, I have like all the sun signs and all of the rising sign placements. So let's just get right into it, starting with Aries Sun. Aries Suns, I would invite to my house. I would do it. I love Aries. I think they're very fun. I think they're very chaotic. I think they're very, very easy for me to get along with. Some people don't like them and that's on you. Taurus Suns, I'm gonna, um, Nina West meh. It's, uh, I have a personal vendetta against a certain Taurus who is in my life, very intimately and very emotionally. So, that being said, it's just Nina West, meh. Gemini Sun, easy. Baddest baddies ever. I'm a Gemini, so this is very biased, but also too, I've never met a Gemini that I don't like. And I know that's very, very shocking for a lot of people, but this is a biased list, so deal with it. Next we have Cancer Suns, ah, uh, baddest baddies ever, easy. I love Cancer Suns, my best friend is a Cancer Sun. My sister is a Cancer Sun. I think Mother Teresa was a Cancer Sun. Was she a Cancer Sun? I don't know. That was just, you know. Mother Teresa, in fact, was not a Cancer Sun. But I was alive at the same time she was. Leo Suns, um, it's gonna go in, in, in they I. Now, before the Leos, you comment fan behavior because you love to do that. I need you to understand that by you saying fan behavior is exactly why you go under they I. Like when you're good, y'all are so good. But when you're bad, I'm just like, you're so annoying. So that's why you're under the eye. And you're gonna have to deal with that. We okay? Okay. Virgo sons, I would invite to my house. I love a Virgo. The Virgos are great. I'm a Virgo rising. My boyfriend's a Virgo, very good. I would invite them over before the party so they can help me clean and all that good stuff. Love a Virgo. Libra sons, ugh, easy peasy lemon squeezy, baddest baddies ever. This is a very biased chart and you're just gonna have to deal with that. Thank you. I love Libras. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're so great. They just like make me happy and they're just also just as chaotic as I am. All right, Scorpio sons, Nina West, meh. Uh, to the Scorpios in my life, I love you. Uh, please don't be offended by that. But also too, you guys know why I put you here under Nina West, meh. Next one, we have Sagittarius Sun. Ugh, baddest bad as ever. Uh, very partial. I mean, my sister's sign, my queen, my icon, my ooh, ah, 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 sensation. Love Sagittarius Suns, baddest buddies ever. I mean, I think all of my best friends at all points in my life have always been Sagittarius Suns. Capricorns, okay. Um, Capricorn Suns are also going in Nina West meh. Same reason that I put Taurus Sun there and Scorpio Sun, it's kind of just like Capricorn Suns. Capricorn Suns to me, like, are very, so domineering and so aggressive and so confident in the fact that they are 
the most perfect being that they can do no wrong. Uh, to me is annoying. Next up, we have Aquarius Suns. Okay, Aquarius Suns, Leo Suns. Same perspective that I have on both of them. When they're good, they're good. When they're bad, I want to absolutely destroy them. Um, which is why they're going in, in uh, their it. Just in the middle. Just sandwiched in the middle. And then Pisces Sun, I would invite to my house. I love a Pisces Sun. Very sweet, very kind, very psychic. It's weird. Um, love a Pisces Sun. Now on the flip side, a Pisces Rising... Nina West met because a Pisces rising like takes a Pisces rising takes being the victim to a new extreme because that is all that their identity is around I can do no wrong everyone has come and hurt me no ma'am Nina West met because I also do like that they're kind of psychic oh Aquarius rising baddest baddies ever you're so weird so weird and I love that I love that about you. I love that you're just a freak. A freak of nature. Capricorn Rising, it's a no from me, dog. It really is. I, there's something about a Capricorn Rising that is just like, the first impression, I'm kind of just standing there and I'm like, you really walked into the room and said, my shit don't stink. It's a no for me, dog. Sagittarius Rising, they I. Okay. Here's why Sagittarius rising is lower than Sagittarius sun. Sagittarius sun is very much like they're going to take at least a split second to kind of adjust and feel it out. Sagittarius rising is going to forget that people are people and people have feelings. They're going to kick the door down, call you a bitch the second they meet you and just pretend like nothing bad happened. So they're, they're it to me, but I do love them. Scorpio rising. Oh, that's going right, right to the top, right to the top. I love, love love Scorpio rising. And you want to know why? It's all of the good things about a Scorpio sun, period. That's all I have to say about that. Libra rising. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in Nina West meh. That might be controversial. That might be controversial and a little bit confusing for some people, but I think there's a certain air of like needing to look perfect with a Libra rising that I'm not there for. I'm not, I'm sorry. Virgo rising, okay, again, I am a Virgo rising. This is biased, but I would invite them to my house. I think Virgos inherently, it's just a sign that I'm, I'm good with. Like, I'm very cordial with them. Very, very cordial. Leo rising. Uh, it's one of these three. Do I put it just, do I just put it? I'll just put it at the top of Nina West, meh. Mm. Can they go in the eight? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in the eight. I changed it, I changed it, I'm sorry. They're in the eight. Um, and it's only because I just can't decide really where I want them. Cancer rising, it's a no for me, dog. No, Nina West, no. It's a no. It's a no for me, dog. Yeah. And this might be very controversial and this might be something that people are very confused about, but there's something about a Cancer Sun versus a Cancer Rising, whereas like a Cancer Rising, it's like they walk into a room, they overanalyze everybody's problems and they just try to fix it. And I don't want to be fixed, mama. <gasps> Gemini Rising. Mm. Baddest baddies ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's biased. I love Gemini. So I am a Gemini. Give me a hate comment because of it. I just love them. I love them. Taurus rising. I would invite to my house. Taurus rising pairs very well with my Virgo rising. And I do like a Taurus rising. They're just like very put together, very calm. They aren't going to scream at you the second they meet you. Sagittarius rising. It's very nice. Ooh, okay, and for the same reason of Sagittarius rising, the last one that I have is Aries rising. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it there, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it in Aries rising. Um, in, I'm gonna put Aries rising in the eye for the same reason of Sagittarius rising. It's just like a little bit too, sometimes it can be a little much. And I, I am a lot. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, Hit that subscribe, hit that like, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and I can do it with like, you know, moon signs, mercury, things like that. I love astrology, I love talking about it. I love insulting people based on their zodiac sign stuff because it's very lighthearted and it's easy to do. 
Um, yeah, and that's everything that I have for today. So uh, peace out, make good choices, don't do anything I wouldn't do. That's a very small list.